Ah, the start of the Great North Run, uh, London to Durham, 260 miles. Oh, he's going to drive the whole way. Well, never mind, he never did like the rules much. Uh, there we go, there's the Prime Minister explaining that black is white and uh, the other Prime Minister explaining that white's black. White, obviously, <laughs> black. And there's the eye test. Ah, oh, Mr Cummings, can you see why everyone's so angry with you and think you should resign, you complete and utter fraud? <laughs> And I think the answer is no. I think he failed the <laughs> test. Is that what it says on the eye chart that he was looking at, that man? I am a complete <laughs> and utter <laughs> fraud. Yes, this is the news that Boris Johnson's senior adviser and the nation's sweetheart, Dominic Cummings, <laughs> is going nowhere for a change. After a joint scoop by the Daily Mirror and The Guardian claiming that Dominic Cummings had broken the country's strict lockdown by driving 260 miles to Durham and embarking on a further jaunt to Barnard Castle, he held a press conference. Ian, I'm, I'm sure you were convinced by that. He gave an hour and a half of utter twaddle. It's absolutely clear he did break the regulations. He found one tiny clause, which he said made an exception, but that didn't cover the journey, for example, to Barnard Castle. It was nonsense. It was absolute nonsense. And I suppose people were cross because they think he's taking us for an idiot. I mean, the eye test thing is marvellous. The idea that you're not sure whether you can drive back to London. So in order to test your eyesight, you put your four-year-old in the back of the car and drive around and see if you knock over any pedestrians or maybe smack into a bollard. And that way, you'll know your eyes aren't there. And I think his greatest irritation, he said at the beginning of it, all the press are doing is giving misinformation about my whereabouts. And that's his job. He gave the impression in pieces in The Spectator, and he got his wife to write pieces, suggesting he was in London, which he wasn't. So he's very, very cross. Um, this man has become the centre of the story. And I just... I cannot understand why he hasn't resigned. That's Boris. <laughs>